hello everyone so in this video we are going to learn about finance settings so finance settings is basically for estimates invoices and credit notes so first up in finance settings we have invoice logo so this logo you will see for example if you go on to invoices and click on any invoice so you will see your logo over here Next up we have the invoice prefix and invoice number digit so if you open any invoice you can see in the right corner that is the invoice number so you can modify it according to your need for example you can change the number of digits to 3 to 4 so you can see how it will reflect in the actual invoice by seeing the invoice number example then we have the estimate prefix and credit note prefix so it will work in a similar manner as that of invoice next we have the due after option so it by default is set for 15 days but if you go to uh, invoices and you create a new invoice you can or select over here the due date you can customize the due date according to your need but by default it will be set after 15 days then next we have the send reminder so you can uh, type in the number of days before the due date you want the reminder to be sent for example i'm setting here four days then we have the change language option the language of the invoice now next we have send reminder after and send reminder every if you select send reminder after and type in the number of days the reminder will be sent after the three days of the invoice date now if you select send reminder every and type in the number of days for example i am writing seven so reminder will be sent every seven days till the due date next we have show tax number on invoice so if you want to enable this option you will have to go to business address settings then you will have to uh, see this tax name and tax for sample i'm uh, i have taken this tax name and the sample number then you have to click on the save option then uh, in finance settings if you enable this option and save the settings you can you can see the tax name and tax number is written over here now if you want to enable now if you want to enable or disable this option you can select accordingly next we have the hsn code option so if you want an hsn column in your invoice you can enable or disable this option the hsn code column will be shown like this in the invoice Next we have the show tax calculation message so tax calculation message will be shown like this in the invoice so you can enable or disable this option accordingly. Then we have the template so you can select from these many templates so the template that suits you the most. Then next we have the client info to show our invoice so you can select all the information that you want to show in the invoice. Now in the last we have terms and condition you can customize any message that you want to see in the invoice the message will be written over here now you can click on to save option and you have completed the finance settings.